Peter Obi of the Labour Party fought Tinubu subsidy removal says he made the announcement without putting measures in place to cushion the hardship. Yes, he has faulted his announcement on first subsidy. Obi said the announcement of subsidy removal without putting measures in place to cushion the hardship that comes with the action amounted to putting the car before the horse. He made the submission on Tuesday during a cut a chat with a section of the media at the presidential election petition uh, cuts in Abuja. He said there is a difference between removing your tooth by applying artificial, which will ameliorate your pain, than just putting it out. I believe its first subsidy should be removed with conditions, and that condition must be applied. If I was involved, I would have shown empirical statistical data how much we are going to save from it where we are going to apply is the gains of the people he stated he added just like i said during my campaign that i am going to govern i am going to govern the people nigeria by being open showing them empirically verifiable facts on how the country can be better when they follow is record Tinubu recently declared he will remove first subsidy from july 1st 2023, emphasizing that his government will not provide funds to subsidize the product since it was not included in the 2023 budget by the previous administration. Hmm. <laughs> oh, wow. These are the things that uh, um, people have been talking about that you just, all of them are saying, everybody talking about, I don't even understand the kind of nonsense uh, narrative that is going here. Eh, after all, all the police presidential uh, whatever talked about it talked about it the same thing if you are not uh, speaking your if you are not uh, from a uh, awusa the next year everybody is Igbo. they are saying all the presidential candidates say this and that and yet nobody is even mentioning article at all if people are against whatever the apc is doing automatically they are all labor party members or they are all obedient that is one thing they don't really understand and that's why people are saying that uh, if you are saying obi even said that is that how he's going to remove it and come to think of it all you bootlickers all you tribalistic people you think if obi did if he do anyhow you think people will, will spare him he said uh, supporters will spare him and be trying to trying to patch a uh, what is it called trying to patch a uh, patch him up trying to defend him he go do it if he do any i go see any and they go they go flog and they go drag and nobody will respect anybody Unless you rest, if you respect the people, respect the masses, of course they will respect you as well. So that is it. What this uh, thought here and there, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> hmm. Okay. We hear him. Obi is looking for all ways to satisfy Nigerians, and that is a lie. <laughs> Poor man like you will still be suffering and smiling. All the name of a tribalism and religious sentiment. Mm hmm. Whether Nigerians like it or not, Obi is your legitimate president who is the rightful grand commander. White Tinubu is a, your fraudulent president who is the grand commander who in Wuru matter. So, as it stands now, you Nigerians have two presidents, one by outright legitimacy, the other by fraud. Mm. That is it. This OB man doesn't understand himself. It means you made the announcement during your campaign that you will remove subsidy to deceive us or what? <laughs> or Gasto being one-sided, your president didn't sit down to calculate before making announcements. OB the talkative, talk talk. <laughs> don't be talk talk now. The best way not be talk talk now is that you don't take decision now and it's biting you so hard. Uh, he's biting all of them. All of them. Some of them are even ashamed to even speak. They are saying, let us pray. Let us be praying now. They are a Milokon master now. Don't you don't put pepper for their high. They say let us pray. Uh, we will be praying. You said it all, but the period you are a governor, you didn't do any remarkable thing, really. And what did Tinubu do to stop the high cost of living in Lagos and with Agbiru all over the place? Now they are begging them now to tell Agbiru to clear Agbiru off the streets in Lagos now because of the first subsidy that is biting everybody agbero too don't increase their own money on towards mm -hmm. your guess is as good as mine the reduction in the price of cooking gas and aviation fuel 
can serve as a cushion to lessen the hardship. How many Nigeria use gas? How many can enter plane? That's it. <laughs> How many? Okay, well, he made the announcement after taking too much cocaine and weed from Chicago. That is what you use when when you see that is what you see when a dead brain is ruling a country. <laughs> yes. Thank you very much. So painful things are not going as planned. Okay, wait till 2055 to do your own things. <laughs> now turn by turn, Obi, you are still a boy. Uh, by then, your family might have died of hunger and put yourself into and uh, will not even enjoy the good government. Yes, so they will continue. But they don't care. Oh. I have said this. They don't care. These guys don't care. I only pity people who want good governance and are on the side of the truth. But those who are on the side of her uh, will uh, look the other way, trying to be diplomatic in, in by being fraudulent. Mm. They will suffer and suffer. They don't care. It doesn't matter. The only thing they say, they will try to shift their problem or sh to shift blame and begin to say, let us pray. They will be praying, God will do it. God knows everything. Uh, it is God that gives power. God knows that he's going to be there at this time. Really? And also, the, the Bible says that uh, the, his thoughts towards us is for good. And for us to have good expect, uh, 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 to have expected uh, uh, end. At the end of the day, you think uh, God will just be doing the unthinkable so that he will suffer. But because of your your decisions, making you to suffer, if you like pray for nothing, time, see, nothing will happen. No? Hmm. Hmm. Yes. No, no, wahala. Everybody just saying what they know. Well, he did so to gain the applause of his followers that he did what Buhari and his cohorts could not do in eight years in one day. <laughs> okay. Be objective. It is not about tribe. Besides, Tinubu administration cannot be rated now. You, Peter Obi, say the truth. You are very right. Sinubu didn't remove the subsidy which cushion uh, which cushion on filling station owners. Immediately they heard about the removal of subsidy, they started misbehaving. They started misbehaving. So guys, let's say your opinion and have your take on this. <laughs>